Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today I want to talk about using anti-roll tanks like YouTube tanks in Shipmill 3D. What we're going to do is demonstrate a YouTube tank configured with a generic frigate. And the details are all in the Shipmill 3D validation report. So you'll need to download this from the Shipmill 3D website. And if you look at case number 10 here, we have verification for a frigate with a YouTube tank. So Here's the parameters for the YouTube tank, and, and what does this really look like? I mean, of course, we've got a cross-section of the, the frigate, and the YouTube tank is uh, two reservoirs connected by a duct, uh, you know, some vertical position above the baseline. And what, what's happening here is the movement of the water from chamber to chamber during ship motion is helping create, uh, it's helping absorb energy and create a reaction force that helps attenuate uh, motion, in particular, roll motion. So what are the results? In the documentation here, you can see uh, the roll RAO response. Uh, this is at 10 knots forward speed with a beam uh, beam loading case here. Without the YouTube tank, um, we're reaching almost uh, a value of three in the RAO at the peak. Um, then with the anti-roll tank here, uh, we've got like quite a bite that's taken out of the results there, uh, out of the peak there. So let's see if you can replicate these results. Um, now, the other thing you'll need is the uh, generic frigate project. So go open that project. Um, this is downloaded from the Shimmel 3D website as well. And we've already gone through the steps of setting up the model and computing the radiation and diffraction uh, values. Now the only difference here is that it doesn't come with a YouTube tank configured. Um, and let, let's actually check and just see what the roll RAO looks like here without the YouTube tanks and verify it. Um, against what we see in the validation report. So C keep regular is where we calculate the uh, ship motion response to regular waves. Um, the default settings for the, the project here have quite a lot of cases set up for forward speeds and wave direction. So we just need to run it as is. And we go pick out 10 knots for forward speed. And then relative C direction is 90. And you can see we've got this nice defined peak in the roll RAO. Just left clicking here on the plot, you can see it's reaching almost three, it's a 2.8 uh, response. Now, in the uh, case 10 here, uh, you can see the frequency domain results are just under three. You know, uh, we're looking at something quite similar here. So let's add the YouTube tank. So, what we, we can do that through build ship. Uh, just bring up the properties here, maybe make them a little bit easier, bigger, easier to read. Uh, we want to go to build ship and scroll down here to ship appendages. Now, um, we won't need to recompute anything else. We don't, particularly, we don't have to recompute the radiation and diffraction, which are, those are a function of the outer form of the hull. So we're adding a YouTube tank. This is a different model that's gonna create some different response to the ship. And so we don't need to go back and recalculate those, those effects, which is really nice. So we just right click on YouTube tanks, create a new YouTube tank. Now we right click on our new YouTube tank, go edit. And you can see here's where all the, the properties are uh, that we can add. And in you can change the name if you want. I'm just gonna leave that default. So you can see station 10, uh, height above uh, baseline. So we've got height above uh, baseline is three. And then the length of the tank is seven. Our duct width is eight. Width of the reservoir, two. Duct height, uh, 0.6 meters. The total height is six. And then we've got the height of the fluid above the, in the tank is 3.3 meters. Our density is the same. So we're just going to leave that and we'll leave the, these other parameters uh, the same as well. So uh, we now need to save and run uh, to make sure we've got the uh, newly constructed ship model with the YouTube tank. Um, now if we go back to see keep regular, it's going to be referencing the same, unless we change the name of the file, it's okay to keep using the same uh, uh, file here. And we're not going to change anything else, so we're just going to go save. And we've got to rerun it, obviously, because we've got our new ship model with the YouTube tank. And go plot motion RAO. Now let's go pick our 10 knots forward speed, 90 degrees. And you can see and the roll RAO now has got that big uh, bite taken out of it. And we've got uh, where the peak used to be something like almost 3. It's at 1.2 uh, 
1.3 basically, um, although there are some local peaks on either side here. And then if we look back at the plot here, that's you know very similar to what we're seeing, this low peak, some, you know, something around 1.3. So that's a very basic demonstration of, of setting up a YouTube tank in Shipmill 3D. Thanks for watching.